Hello YouTube, this is Luke Portisek. I'm here to bring you the Space Engineers video. Uh, today it's a bit laggy because I've decided to try to have a duel between my uh, missile cruiser, which is out there with all those um, antennas, uh, let's see, on the distance, and the slugger. I still haven't painted it yet, but I uh, made some upgrades to the um, projectiles. They're now uh, have a lot more warheads, a lot less armor. Um, yeah, and I also uh, altered the long-range missiles to have light armor on the sides, uh, so that that way there's not as much um, stopping the warheads from doing damage. I still have heavy armor on the front just to uh, actually. I need to. Uh, well, I need to do this. Uh, this should be here too. I have this collar around it to help protect this weaker on each sides. Um, but the missile cru cru cruiser that we're not going up against doesn't have um, sorry, it doesn't have any uh, uh, anti uh, anti air defense. It doesn't have any gallant turrets. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a duel. We're gonna, uh, gonna have the slugger go first uh, and fire off a long range missile because that would be how it would go. I'm going to give each ship an action, so in this case the slugger is going to fire, uh, actually, I think I have on the yes, six should disengage that merge block, open this up, uh, and I have the option to control it, I do have a ton on both, right, and it is control one, right? I'm gonna name it. What's this? Nope, that's the missile cruiser. What's that? That's definitely not it. What's this? Huh. That's weird. I thought I renamed this. Oh well. Uh, maybe they unrename and merge them. Yeah, that must be it. Anyways, let's go. Uh, so I showed a video of this, uh, of this ship, both these ships actually, I, my Space Engineers build series. Um, but I figure we'll have a duel to see which one wins. I, I honestly still think that the Slugger is going to win with those long range missiles. We might even, if we can hit the uh, missile cruiser's ammo storage in one hit, uh, kill it. Although it is heavy armor, I think we're going to go for the just to the just to the bottom of the bridge shot in an attempt to take out their engineering section. And close to max speed. Well, it looks like we're not going to hit that, but we did do a significant amount of damage. I'm going to make the assumption that the um, uh, that the um, what you would call them, the uh, forehead went off. So we're going to fly out and see. And besides the missile cruiser strain, they'll probably either return fire or, or get closer. Looks like we did some serious damage. I see bits flying off. Did we one shot it? No. We didn't one shot it. But wow, we crippled her. Whew. That was a nasty side shot there. Went right through the side armor and exploded on the inside. But um looks like the I was gonna say the side armor the, the ship does have uh, heavy armor on the sides and the back of the missile bay. Um, I think they're they've got a lot of loose missiles. They can't really um, move, or they'll cause them to all f fly out. Which uh, I think I was going to have the missile cruiser try to move in and get closer to uh, so that the long range missiles wouldn't be as effective. But I don't think it's going to happen. Looks like that missile went off. This missile didn't go off. Looks fairly usable for flight. Does it have a camera? It has a camera, okay. Well, it looks like I think I'm going to. The warheads inside this one went off, yeah. So it looks like if the warheads inside this one are still intact, yes, they are. Okay. We're going to take this missile out. Um, actually, we're, what we're going to do first is delete these missiles. 
since we're not going to use them. Since the, did the warhead go off inside that one? Yeah, it did. Uh, one of the armor piercing missiles that this thing carried got completely destroyed. There's the sidearm for it. Uh, we're going to have to do our full damage with this thing. Um, control panel. We're going to return fire. Now I'm going to go with this shot. Is this the right direction? We actually have some problems getting this thing out of here. The other side of the line of explosion here just to hit something. Something. Okay, these things have overloads because they haven't been charging. Actually, they have been charging. I need to turn the battery on. If we still have it. Yes, we do. Alright, where is it? This thing. They are out. Whoop. That way, I think we've lost a gyro or two in the large uh, missile. Room. I'd like to try to get one and knock off their other long range missile because if we can. Damage is another long range missile, they won't be able to hit us with that. Oh! Oh my! What's happened? Oh, it went out of range of me. Eh, 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 eh. I should have, um. Is he gonna keep going? No. So, what kind of range does this thing have? Probably 5,500 5, meters, something like that. Well then, um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take control of it again. Uh, can I view it? I'm going to turn the inertial dampeners off. That way if we lose control again. Um, which I don't think we will. We lost control again. Let's not turn the inertial dampeners off. Well, anyways, um, I should. My next shot, I'm going to control from the ship. I guess. Um, but so I could have a hit here. And gain control. I'd like to get a bit more acceleration. Not going to happen. Oh, we've got a hit. Oh, we detonated the internal uh, ammunition stowage. The sluggers, slugs have been detonated. Oh, it was a beautiful hit. We detonated the internal warheads, yeah. That's what caused the explosion. Whew! That was a nasty hit. Both the ships have taken some serious damage. Well, the slugger has got one more long range missile left. I kind of wanted to show off the slugs. Um, anyways, let's grab the block, turn it off, access this, access this, control it, yeah, control, and camera view, and let's go. Alright, we're going for a bridge shot. If we can cripple the bridge, then we can win because they don't have a secondary battle bridge. If not, I don't know what the slugger's gonna do because the missile cruiser still has missiles and they can very easily take out our bridge in a couple of shots. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to ram them. The slugger could be good at because it's got those nacelles that we could ram them, ram them with. Alright. Going for the bridge shot. Oh, oh. We have a hit. And it exploded. I think we went j I, in just below the bridge. Um, my shot went a little low. I thought we were going higher. Um, let's see what we got here. Shots. I see the missile floating off in the distance. We didn't sever the bridge, and the command pods are still active. Ah, oh, I took that shot too low. 
busted straight into the engineering section. If we still had the slugs, this would be perfect. We could just fire a couple slugs right down into the engineering section, blow the reactor up, and it'd be dead in the water. Well, they now the missile cruiser no longer has any fear of. Uh, looks like we was this left from before? I thought all of these missiles were intact. We must have done some damage to these missiles. I think we're going to take. Well, all of the AP missiles are have their AP taken off, um, so we're going to have to use the HE. We're going to control it from the ship, as is appropriate. Um, we're going to turn off the connector there from here. I'll just hit P to unlock them. I can actually do it from right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, connectors. Control A. Unlock them all. Uh. The latest small ship. Remote control. Control. Camera. Is this it? No, this is the drone. Hey. Should be this one. It's got merge blocks on it. No, that's. Is this one? Oh, this might be the decoy one that I had loaded into the world earlier. So this one must be it. Yes, this is it. Okay. And camera. Is this it? Oh. That wasn't it. Um. Well, which small ship is this? I'm just going to rename the small ship to figure out what it is. Uh, okay, sorry about all this. Um, kind of takes away from the uh, takes away from the immersion here. There we go. Control. Of course, I'm not a very um, good space engineers player, so I probably won't sound not good space engineers player, not a good YouTuber. <laughs> um, but I'm trying. Okay. And we fly out the main door. I guess we can. <laughs> Even though there's not much of it left. Alright, so we should have. Full control all the way in. I'm gonna go for the. What do I go for? Oh, it went out of range again. Why does it go out of range? Oh, because it's a small ship. Duh. It's got a small ship, um. Uh, antenna. But I thought the range on that was like 5,000 meters or something. Let me check it here. And is there an antenna on this? Yeah, definitely. Now you can bump it up to 5,000 meters. Aha! So now you should be able to control it from right here, right? In theory, maybe? Remote control. Control. K. Camera. View. Okay. Should be good now. If I were in survival, I would have just killed myself with the thruster blast. <laughs> uh, no, it did it again. Uh, so that means my character has an antenna range of 500. So I'm just going to turn the inertial dampeners off and accelerate at the target. Uh, or now I'll go back to the 
carrier and control it from there. That way we can guide it all the way in. Okay, so the player has a range of 500, and I didn't have the antenna, and the, def and the antenna's default to 500. Okay. So I think I got it now. Whoa. We passed the uh, control panel. How is this thing still connected? Anyways, right control, control, camera, view. Should we get all the way in now? And I'd like to get a shot straight through the barrel. Or no, I'm going to go straight for the bridge. I think that's the best shot. Or send a shot straight through the glass. And I hit. The problem is now the slugger's got two bridges, so she's gonna try to ram the carrier with her nacelle to try to take down the uh, bridge. Although at this point, um, I honestly think the carrier would have won. Because no captain in his right mind would try to ram a ship. Um, it's got all but one of the control panels. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to uh, have a bit of fun here. Although I officially declare that... Um, I would like to declare, though, that, uh, um, the missile cr cruiser would have won at this point. I'm just doing this for fun to, uh, ram the carrier, cr cruiser, cruiser, carrier, carrier. Yes, yeah, carrier, too. Carries multiple missiles. Although, would it be a cruiser? I'm gonna try to nick. The bridge is my right nacelle. A little high. And down. Nope. Oh. Ah. My seat survived. Oh my. Ah. Ah. I really need space on my chair. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> okay, well, enough of that. Um, that ram did not go so well. You can just see the carnage. Would either ship have survived this? Well, I don't know. I had to say I think the slugger's in worse shape. Even though... She's still got her battle bridge, and she's got most of the maneuverability intact. She lost some gyros, so she must have hurtling off into space. Um, then again, the missile cruiser has no forward, well, it doesn't have that thruster, but it still have its right, um, let me see how much maneuverability the missile cruiser has. The missile cruiser has one thruster, and it's still got her reactor. Does it have the side thrusters too? Uh, it's got the side thrusters. Uh, bottom? I don't think so. No. Yeah, it's got two bottom thrusters. So, uh, say in the comments who you think won, although I think the, out of this right here, uh, the slugger won, but the missile carrier would have won in a real situation because no, uh, captain would be willing to ram his or her ship into another ship. Um, although the slugger is probably a lot more maneuverable, maneuverable now because it lost so much weight. <laughs> it lost all that um, kind of unnecessary bridge section. Really wanted us to show off the uh, the new slugs though. I might do that in another video. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, oh, and I'll be attending the um, uh, 
Asteroid Grab game. Uh, or no, what is he calling it? I think he's calling it uh, Grab the Roid on the um, on the on the Nid server. Uh, so yeah, I'll be able to. Some of the uh, videos from that will be coming up next week. Uh, it was on Saturday, I think. Um, that we're doing it, yeah. So the videos from that will be coming up next week. Uh, hope you guys enjoy that, and thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.